WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside, a sea of green out there. Dow's up 622, a little over 2%, 2% for the S&P, or 72 points. NASDAQ about 1.5%, 172. Russell up 2 and a quarter. Semi's up 3.5%. That's uh, They're trading out at 2385. That's up 79 points. Gold's trading up 24 bucks at 1696. Silver's up a buck four. That's a big move there, 7%. You've got lights we crude up about 4%, trade out at 8260. Natural gas is up 40 cents. Looks like that wants lower price in the 30-year Treasury up two full points and 10 ticks, 128.23. So we've got some big moves out there. Let's go take a look at that nine-panel market update chart. Well, on Friday, what the ES Mini did was it negated its bottom patterns. But as we speak right now at 11 a.m., if this were the market close, you'd have a bullish reversal candle confirming another A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, you had one day close below the bottom of its daily profile. That was on Friday. So it's... You know, if, if there's a resistance level for the ES Mini, it certainly could or should be the center of that profile at 36.77. I'd, I'd be more comfortable making that statement if we had two consecutive days below the bottom of its daily profile. But I would still watch 36.77. If price can close above that, then that's a signal that price should make a move to the 38.06 area. Spot volatility still above its 50-day exponential moving average, so any surprises are going to be to the downside inside the equity markets. The NQ. Also on Friday, negating its bottoming patterns, closing below the bottom of its daily profile. It is struggling right now with resistance, and that is the bottom of that daily profile, 11,241. We've seen a high today of 11,230. The U.S. dollar index, it's got a, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. You can't really see that. It's got to sell the D-point top. That you can see. The price right now is dealing with the top of that daily profile. So even though it's pulling back, the key level of support to be watching is 111. 91. We're at 111.75. But we do get a close below 111.91. That's going to suggest a move back into the most likely the 110.20 area. Gold, nice move out here today. It is now above the top of its daily profile, which is uh, 1695.70. We're just slightly above it at 1697. It's dealing with its next resistance area, which is a brand new weekly profile that is forming out here. And that has resistance at 1700. Uh, and 90 cents. We've seen 1740 cents. Silver, nice A to B equals CD pattern. Hit it at one to one level with a wide ranging bar. That suggests we get more of a move to the upside inside of silver. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.